So what we're doing here is we're staining, we're staining this big concrete patio here. It's about 4,000 square feet. And this is the, the main Maritime Museum in Bath, Maine. And they want this part to look like the Atlantic Ocean. And then that runs into this, this big long river here, which is called the Kennebec River. And the Kennebec River runs into what a big lake in Maine called Moosehead Lake. So they wanted to try to stencil that into this concrete patio and then for us to stain it to look like water. So that's what we did here today. We, we still have the stencil on here we got to pull off. But there's Moosehead Lake. This is the river, Kennebec River. It says Kennebec River right there. And that runs all the way down into the Atlantic Ocean here in Maine. So this all started about a year ago where they this company hired us to pour this massive concrete patio. Again, I said it was about 4,000 square feet. We had to do it in a few sections because they didn't get it all ready at one time, So, which was okay. But we they hired us to pour this patio, and they had all kinds of, you can, as you can see, stones and rocks and stuff in there for us to go around. So it made it a little bit tricky, but it was a, it was a fun project. The five of us there, Darren, Luke, Tia, Abby, and me, we got it all poured. And this was the finish. You know, we mag floated the surface out, and then we, we gave it a broom finish. And we did this to the whole patio, the, the entryway, the sidewalks, everything they wanted us to do. This is the type of finish we did. So here, here we are about a year later. And they had this idea of where it's the main maritime museum. They wanted to, to put a, a, one of the biggest lakes in Maine that runs into the one of the biggest rivers that runs into the ocean. They wanted to stain that into this patio. So that's what we're doing here. And the stain I'm using is a stain called Last to Seal. It's a, it's a concrete stain and a sealer. And I get it from a company called Radon Sealed. This is a really good company. I like these guys. Craig from Radon Seal is a really good guy to work with. And this stain and sealer combo works really good for stuff like this. You could, you can do patios, you can do driveways, sidewalks, pool decks, whatever you want to do. It's a water-based stain, so it's, it's DIY friendly. It's real easy to use. And you just use a little pump-up spray, as you can see, to apply it. Now, I'll have a link for it down in the description, guys, if you want to check that out. But as you can see, so I'm I'm going down and staining part of the river right now. And what what Tia and Sydney are doing, they're moving these little cardboard pieces around because it was really windy today. And just to make sure I didn't get any overspray from the wind on some of the sections that got a little closer to the, the patio that didn't want stain. We didn't want to get any stain on something that didn't want it. So we were we were really careful with that. So I went down, I started up on the lake part, went down the river, and now I'm in the ocean part of what's going to be this, this large mural, I guess, on top of this concrete patio. And I'm using a couple different colors. I'm using, the first color I used for the lake and the river was called, it was actually called Ocean Blue, and it was a little bit brighter blue. And now the one, the color, I'm using a little darker blue in the ocean area called Midnight Blue. And I'm going to end up mixing these together a little bit. Um, at, once I got this whole piece stained, I ended up mixing some together 50-50. So both colors together, half and half. And I went over the whole patio again. And then what I did was I just took the straight midnight blue, which is this darker one. And I highlighted some areas in the in the lake and in the river just to give it a little bit more of a... A, a 2d or even maybe a 3d type of effect for the water to make it look a little bit more real and that, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just highlighting some areas with that little bit darker stain over the brighter bluer stain to give it a little bit better effect and this is what it's going to end up looking like guys so take take a look here So after we pulled the stencils off, you could really see the definition in the, you know, the outer areas of the stain. And it really came out nice. There was Moosehead Lake. That's a that's a huge lake in Maine. You know, and then the Kennebec River runs out of Moosehead Lake down all the way down into the ocean. You know, you're talking 
you're talking uh, hundreds of miles. So it's a, it's a huge river. And then I'm going to end up embedding those plaques into the concrete of a few different locations they just wanted to highlight. Augusta, that's the capital of Maine. Um, that little round one's Bath. That's where we are right now. That's this the, where the Man Maritime Museum is. And then the, you can see the lettering on the Atlantic Ocean. That came out really cool. Monhegan Island is a is a really popular island in Maine. And then just a couple of there is Booth Bay Harbor. Maybe some of you guys have heard of that in Maine. And then Popham. That's a, that's a nice beach area. And that's what it ended up looking like, the stained concrete guys. So, hey, if you like this kind of stuff, I'm gonna, you're going to get an aerial view of it from a drone that's going to look really cool. But, you know, if, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, go down, hit, hit subscribe. I come out with a couple videos a week. Please smash that like button, too. That helps my videos and with the YouTube algorithm. Let's see if we can get a couple thousand likes on this video. And there's the whole the whole picture right there. It looks really cool. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.